Now we're going to work with our bass track. And our bass in this case is coming from another excellent plugin from Sugarbytes called Unique. Unique is a synthesizer, and in this case we're using one of the built-in bass patches called Nervous Bass. Let's just listen to see how it sounds on its own. So it's a nice fat sounding bass patch that stands on its own and it'll be an excellent starting point. Now let's see what we can do to it with Vogue. So we've got Vogue loaded onto our bass track here and the first thing I'm going to do is just turn off all of the sections here. So I'm just going to work with them one by one. The first section I'm going to turn on is the preamp section because again we're going to use the preamp to high pass and to add some grit via overdrive to the sound of the bass. So I've used the gain control to manage the volume increase that happens from the overdrive and I've set the high pass to about 30 hertz which will again filter out all of those unneeded headroom robbing low frequencies. Now I'm going to use dynamic EQ to add some compression and some EQing to the bass channel. As you can see, if my levels start to get out of control here on the meter, I can use the master out to trim them down just to keep our, our levels within the plugin under control. Now we're going to get crazy with some effects, and we're going to turn our effects module on here, and I'm going to use pretty much everything on here to get a really interesting and extreme sound. First thing we're going to do is create a metal kind of delay. So we're going to turn our delay on, and we're going to set our decay time to the shortest it can possibly go, which is 1 one twenty eighth note. I'm going to crank our level up a little bit and feedback up a little bit. So you're going to hear that really short metallic sounding decay trail there, which is what we're looking for. Next we're going to add some very small subtle room sound to it just to get a little bit of space around the bass synth here. So again, we're going to keep our decay time and our room size very small and just play with the level a little bit just to get some of that nice room sound around the bass. Now because this is a bass patch, we don't want its top end to conflict too much with our vocal and with our the high end of our drum track. So we're going to turn the filter on. We're going to have the signal flow go to all because we want it to cover the effects and the dry signal from the bass. And we're going to set it to a low pass and we're going to put our settings so that we're you know, using a little bit of resonance on it. And we're going to bring our filter to yeah, about 1600 hertz or so here. Lift that up just a little bit. Add some more resonance to it. Great. And now we're going to use the mod matrix to modulate the filter while it's playing. So we're going to switch it to an LFO. We're going to send, and we're going to first of all make it active, and we're going to make sure that it's sending out its uh, destination is to filter cutoff. As you can see, the filter cutoff slider here starts to visually move up and down, and we're just going to play with our settings a little bit. So we're going to keep our speed nice and low about 1.65, sorry, about 0 0.65 hertz here, and the amount by which it increases and decreases, we're going to put our amount to just a relatively low amount here, and we're going to listen to that again. Good, so we can hear the filter sweeping through the bass as it's playing. Let's just unsolo that and listen to everything we have so far. Right the microphone, right it like this. We got the microphone, we love it like this. Living time, I come shop on the living terrorist. We got the microphone, shop on the fire, us at least. Shama, shama, break the microphone, right it like this. We got the microphone, we love it like this. Living time, I come shop on the living terrorist.
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Sugar Bites Vogue live in a track. Just walked you through all of its features and exactly how I would use it when I am writing music. So I hope you've enjoyed the videos. If you like the plugin, you can pick it up by clicking the link in the description from this video. It's 79 euros or 99 US dollars. Uh, very handy and convenient and high quality plugin. Would highly recommend it. Happy producing.